All right, in this video, we're gonna cover what are Discord stage channels and how you can create one yourself. So right here, I just have a test server that I created and we can go ahead and go to the server settings because in order to actually create stage channels, your Discord server needs to be a community Discord server. So to enable that, we have to go to our server settings and click on the enable community button on the side here. And then let's go ahead and click on get started. So you're gonna need a verified email and you're going to need to enable the scan media content from all members and we're just going to go ahead and leave these settings the same again you can always change these at a later date but i'm going to just keep everything like this and we just have to make sure that we click the i agree button and let's go ahead and finish the finish setup and now that we've clicked finish setup we now have a community server so this means that we can actually go back and we can go to our voice channels here click create channel and now we can click on stage channel and now we need to give the stage channel a name so i'm going to name this let's just say test stage channel and now on the very left hand side here we have a test stage channel channel so if we go ahead and click on that you can see it says welcome to stages your mic will be muted unless invited to speak you can leave and rejoin at any time without making noise and you can request to speak to join the conversation so if you're not really familiar with what stages are it's kind of like discord solution to the clubhouse app where basically you can invite people on to speak and it basically just is a different way of having you know a conversation with your audience your fan base or maybe you're just hosting an event and right here when we click on that we can see that we have the waiting for the stage to start so let's go ahead and click on start the stage and now with stages you need to have a topic now this is kind of similar to clubhouse where you'll generally have a title for your topic that you're talking about and then people can join based off that title or that topic so let's just go ahead we're, we're talking about let's say we're talking about fruit here in this stage so we're going to name this stage topic fruit and we have two options we can make it members only or public now if you make it public that means people can join from the discovery tab on discord you'll notice that it says is your topic descriptive enough so if you're going to be listing your stage on the public stage discovery tab on discord you're going to want to make sure that you have a pretty descriptive topic so we're going to be talking about fruit and then let's go ahead and click on continue and now you can see what it kind of looks like when you go to the discord discovery tab it's going to look like this little card here it's going to show how many people are listening in at the top right it's going to show your topic your discord server name and your speakers of the stage so it's going to say your stage is going public which means you know anyone that's not even in your server can join it but we're going to actually make it members only because because we don't want random people joining right now. We're just trying to cover how this actually works. So let's go ahead and click on start stage. And right away, we can see that this kind of looks like that UI that you see when you have a video call in Discord, but it's a little bit different. So we see this little badge at the top right. When we hover over that, it says stage moderator. So you can have stage moderators, which are not the same as your Discord moderators. So if you have a Discord moderator, they are not automatically a stage moderator unless you set that specifically so stage moderators only have power to remove people or invite people to speak on your stage they don't have powers outside of that so i'm going to go ahead and join the stage on my other account and as you can see now we have a section called in audience so people that are in your audience are not speaking but they are just listening to the conversation so let's say one of the audience members wants to speak and join the conversation well what they can do is they can click the this request to speak button down here and for me it's called show requests because I'm always able to speak as a moderator of the stage and if we click on that we can see that I have requested to speak on my other account here and I can click the invite to speak to invite myself to speak on the stage so if I invite myself to speak now we can see that the icon here is green which means that I am allowed to speak and if I want to remove an audience member from being able to speak I can can go ahead and click on the dismiss button here and that's going to remove that little green icon meaning that that audience member can no longer speak on this stage so let's go ahead and look at the settings that we can set for our stage so all we have to do is hover over the stage uh, tab thing at the left here and click on edit channel go to permissions and now you can see there's a section here specifically called stage
stage moderators and we can add members or roles to be stage moderators. So if we want to create like a stage moderator role or if we want our Discord moderators to automatically be stage moderators, we can add that specific role or specific members to be stage moderators. And one last thing, there's also a very specific permission here for stage channels only, which is the request to speak. So we can set permissions for different roles or members to be able to request to speak. But that is pretty much stages in a nutshell. If we want to abandon the stage, we can click the exit quietly button and it's going to give us an option to either just exit quietly or we can exit and end the stage. Now, if we exit quietly, that means the stage will still exist. However, we just won't be in the stage or we can click the exit and end, which means we will exit the stage and the stage will be ended, meaning no one else can be in the stage or be listening. So if we go ahead and click on exit and end, you're going to see that now no one is currently listening to the stage. We have exited it and we also have terminated the stage. And if you're a server owner and you're looking to get your own custom Discord bot made for your server, you can check out a video where I show you how to create a Discord bot. I'll have a link on the screen. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you out.